marker for certification on the production track and serial. So, length, width, height. I'll just pass that around. Take a quick look and get a feel for the form. It's going to be an inches. Sorry, Rich. So now take your second piece of tape and put it right parallel with the first one you laid down. Okay. Uh, actually, we're cooling this guy down. Okay. You can see at the tip of my uh, device here, it's starting to get pretty cold. And sometimes I'll take and, and do a temperature reading. I can do it with my uh, gun here. I'm minus 21, minus 30. Thank you for your time. We've deconstructed two insulated glass unit types, a dual seal with silicone, uh, a dual composite spacer. The one was a field unit uh, and the dual seal unit. The other one was a certification unit uh, as measured by 14 by 20. So on the dual seal unit, what we found is that the lack of a PIB strap at the intersection of the spacer bar allowed argon to drain out of the unit and cause the low argon gas retention. And we all know that silicone is very porous to moisture and gases, uh, whether it be argon uh, or the moisture of the gas. So that was a good observation. Here are uh, a few of the, most of the chemistry they're used today for, for insulating glass sealants. Um, polyisobutylene, that typically is your primary seal that's used. Um, very good moisture barrier, but um, not very strong to hold you together. Pop melt is, is also a butyl material, like polyisobutylene, but it's a, a stronger material, uh, has more resistance, more strength in it, but it also is a moisture barrier as well, and, and gas barrier.